Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction, and we're here with another review. So today we have the art of prey, right? Now, uh, prey I think was released in twenty seventeen, right? This is the uh, the new prey by uh, the guys who made a we call it um, Dishonored, the uh, the Ar Arcane Studios. There you go, right? And this is basically like their their take on like the system shock type games, the Bioshock type games, right? And uh, I I really really love this game, right? Just specifically because I love the world, right? The story, like it starts off cool and then it's like, eh, you know, whatever, you know, it's it's kind of cool, but then it's kind of like in the background, right? What's really like the main point of this thing is to show like the world that they developed the space station right the the real character right if anything is a space station right morgan you is just like your way to like you know see everything right um or he but he and she he and or she right depending on you know if you choose male or female right um like is only a vehicle for the world to be shown right the story is just a vehicle to show the world right because i feel like the world <laughs> Is the real star of the show or of, of the uh yeah the show whatever of the game rather um but yeah this this art book okay so if you're wondering if i recommend it yes obviously i recommend it okay right this book is great okay this book is fantastic right like i said about american art books right this is by dark horse right they just do it right Every time they set the standard, right? Um, and the, the level of rarity is not so bad, right? So I'm sure. And like this game wasn't very, you know, like it was popular, but like it was more of like a cult hit with like a certain niche, right? So yeah, um, if you're wondering about Prey, I, I recommend it, right? Uh, it has a very, like, if you're like into Deus Ex, if you're into like Bioshock, you're into System Shock, you probably didn't play any of that, like, you probably played Bioshock, but not those games, right? If you're into those, like, open world, like, not open world, but like, um, like, you could do multiple approaches to fix, to do the objective, right? I really recommend Prey, right? 2017 Prey, right? Yeah. Um, one of the, one of the hits that I felt like was underappreciated at the time, right? And I feel like, now people are starting to realize or like or like yeah this was actually a really fantastic game but people were just like the viewers like it's too hard the story all this bullshit right this, this game is great okay give it a shot if you like in-game worlds if you like a really fleshed out world right without the the, the, the where the gameplay and the systems kind of take the 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 lead and the world takes the lead rather than like the the narrative right um i really recommend it right so um, the book, I also recommend highly, right? Um, get it. It's probably cheap on Amazon right now. I didn't check the prices, right? Um, but I guarantee you, like, it's, it's, since it's an American book, it'll probably be, um, at this point, probably 30, 25 bucks, right? Like, worst 40, right? Still recommend it, right? Um, the art is great, you know? Like, it's, it's, uh, it's a fantastic art book, right? The art inside is fantastic as well, right? <laughs> So, with the review portion out of the way, right, let's get into this. Uh, if you guys hear a noise, it's a, it's JoJo, right? Let's do the JoJo update. JoJo, look at you. Look at you. Wow, wow, wow. As you can tell, my, uh, my carpet is a lot cleaner, right? I have a, ever since the last video, I was like, oh shit, dude, my carpet is fucked, right? Yeah. But it's because it's JoJo. What's a bit of JoJo? Look at him. All right, he'll probably be bothering us in this review, so get prepared for that. But like I said, into the book. Right. So we have the first of all the um, the the logo for the uh, the the station, and, and like. Another thing that I love is like they they chose to take the uh, the Art Deco style, right? And they they really pushed everything to make the aesthetic look, you know, to 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 be you know fully you know flowing, right? Like they it all it all works within the world, right? 
So right here, we got a nice little illustration, right? Look at that. Just well painted, you know? Just well painted digital stuff, right? Nothing, nothing wrong with digital as long as you paint it, right? Wow. The artists in this, uh, who did this book, right, or who or who worked on these, right? The the artists in this for this game are fantastic, right? Um, and I feel like they did a really good, they did a real bang up job, a real not bang up, but like real good job, right? There we go. And we got some table contents, you know, standard stuff, right? <clears throat> Here we have the um, I think these are like the labels for the uh, for each. Uh, part of the station, right? Yeah, these are like the banners that they put to know like, oh, where you're at, right? Here we go, we have the Transtar station right here. Oh yeah. Fucking cool, man. And look, it's simple, and it looks all designed, you know? You need to paint everything, man. Look at that. Okay, so we have some uh Oh oh okay, these are these are from the intro cinematic, right? Where they're like explaining like the universe, like like oh yeah, JFK he survived and then he really pushed the space station the, the space uh movement right in the US, right? And that's how they got out here. And then boom they they find about the the Typhon, right? You know? They're like, whoa, dude, the Typhon, dude, you know? And then boom, they start building the station, right? Typhon, get loose, right? Station gets fucked hard, then somebody else buys it, right? Look at that. Look at this fantastic painting, man. Wow. I'm telling you guys, you're in store for some great art. The guys at Arcane, the artists there, are fantastic. If you've seen the art of Dishonored, you, you know that they do a really good job. Look at that. I love this, like, stylized, like, uh, like, kind of view, like, uh, like, art style, right? It's very simple, but, like, complex, right? And it, it just rem it just gives a, a feeling of that that like you know, fifties um, vibe or not fifties but like you know what I mean you know like it's like it's an older style right, but like modernized for uh, for this uh, game, yeah. Look at that. This one is fantastic right here. I love these. Simple but good. Simple but great. Okay, design, design, design. They they just designed everything, right? Oh, here we go. Here he is. Main Mr. MC himself. Morgan Yu, right? They'll probably show the female version too. Yeah, but uh nice. Oh yeah. I like that, you know, they don't, like, try to emphasize the fact that he's Asian. It's just like, oh, he just happens to be Asian. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are some, uh... I'm pretty sure these are just, like, you know, very early, um, little, little sketches just to get the feel, right? Initial concepts, right? Here we have some more, like, uh, more refined work, right? Look at that. Oh, that looks great. This is probably promotional work. Yep, and here we have a uh, female, Morgan Yu, right? This artist, whoever does the paintings, man, shout out, dude. Good shit. Sorry, the, the, the reflectiveness of the, the paper gets in the way sometimes. Here we have a the female Morgan, right? And then the the other side, the counterpoint. 
Mr. Male, the male Morgan, right? Even though they're the same human being, technically. All right, look at that glove. That looks great. Focus. Great stuff, man. If you paint it all, it looks great. If you design it all, it looks great. Don't shove a photo in there. Or if you do, do it well so that we can't fucking notice, man. That's the key. Oh, but we have to do it quick. <laughs> Expedience isn't everything. Okay? I guess in the industry it is, but fuck, man. The This is industry too, right? Is this not industry work right here? Right? They're doing it, so why can't you guys, right? The people, no, I'm not talking to you guys, but I'm talking to the people who are like always photo bashing, always using that crutch, dude. Weak. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let me, um, there you go. Come on. Come on, I just focused you. I wish there was like a focus button. On this stupid ass phone. Alright, here you go. Yeah. These are all um like in-game screenshots, but like that just just look how beautiful they are, right? Look how beautiful this game is, man. Look at that. And I love how they um they, uh, they, they, they show, they're like, oh, the colors of Talos 1, and they're like, you know, just giving you that, here, let me, uh, yeah, just giving you that nice overview of, like, oh, okay, so we, like, we, we kind of put it all together, right, and showing you that, like, yes, this whole game has, like, a, like, a vision to it, you know, like, a, an order, a set order, that we're trying to show you in terms of like color, right? It's kind of like a color script, but for environments, right? You know, like, look at that. We have the hydroponics, right? Here we go. This is the Arboretum, right? The, uh... This is like one of the, the bigger parts of the map, right? When, uh... It's a very like open space, right? Look at that, fantastic stuff. You see that? No photo here. I don't see a single fucking photo here. We have a um, airlock design, right? Cool stuff, man, cool stuff. Yep, this is the uh, the overall, um, what do you call it? Uh, greenhouse kind of design, right? Look, look at the shapes, like, it's just square, 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 rectangle, 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 right? Giving it that real Art Deco look, right? I, which I, I love, I love Art Deco, right? I love this kind of stuff. This is like, this, this gets me going, dude. This gets my art boner going, right? Look at that. Like the, the future, you know, retro style, right? Like, look, just look at this chair, man. I would want to sit on this chair, dude. I'd be like, oh, fuck, dude. Look at this luxurious chair, man. Right? I'd fucking sit on that shit, dude. God damn. Wow. I'd buy this. I love their, I love their prop designs, too. Like, whoever, does, whoever did the props, props to you, man. Good shit, man. Look at that. Look at that. These are, like, just the little... You know iterations of the different trees. You know, like we're, we're you know we're introduced to the typhon, right? Tomato. Look at that tomato. Look at that fucking juicy ass tomato, man. If you paint it, little it'll, it'll look good, man. Oh yeah, got this blueberry thing. Whatever the fuck this, this is not. This is not a blueberry, but it's like yeah, it's like a giant blueberry. Some weird banana thing with a banana dick. Right. See this? Um, these are in-game screenshots, right? And, uh, you know, normally I'd have a problem with them, but <laughs> they look so goddamn good, man. They look like concept art, man, you know? 
and it shows that like uh, you know, they put the, the concept art with the in-game shots, give you like a reference of what it looks like, right? It just means that the game looks fantastic. The game is designed well, right? This We got some real concepts here. Like, look at that, man. This is so cool, man. So fucking cool. Look at that shit. Wow. Even the, the, the you know, they like I said, the HUD. They, they... When you when you draw everything, when you develop everything, when you when you nurture a world, right, to this level, it just comes out itself, man. The ideas at a certain point, they just start generating themselves, right? I love this layout. I love like the the, the wood paneling, right, with the technology. It's, it's just great, man. You know, it has that nice like kind of 80-ish style, right? Mixed with art deco and with the future, it's just wow, cargo bay. I love how each um, each stage in this book gets kind of like a, a little a little section of its own, right? Because they it deserves it, right? You know, at what whereas uh, other other games have like like oh this is this level, right? This is that level. This is just part of the same station, right? Which means there there needs to be a cohesiveness. To everything. Look at these props. Fantastic, man. Yeah, there needs to be a cohesiveness between everything in the world, right? And, and like, um, since it's a, a space station, it has to make some kind of sense, right? And in this world, it, since you're trying to make it super believable based on technology, based on, like, you know, the advance of science, right? You have to be realistic, right? Or, more importantly, believable, right? Realism is only there to help believability, right? Look at that. Wow. I believe this. I'm like, I'm like, I feel like I could just whoop, take a step in and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm right there, dude. You know, right? Take a step in. I'm right there, dude. Yeah. And these are, these are in-game screenshots, man. Like I said, they look fantastic, right? Maybe this one isn't. Maybe this one isn't. I don't know. If they're if the some of these are screenshots, but if if some of these aren't, like wow, look at that. We have like the little little food court area, right? With little like you know soup things, right? We have the kitchen, right? Super cool, super cool stuff. You know we have some like you know like little layout stuff, right? Yeah, this uh oh 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 it's a it's a coffee pot. Right? With like like really angular design. Love it. Love it. Love that shit, man. Oh yeah. This is a it's like a fridge or it's just cabinets. Yeah, and it's like it's like a toaster and yeah, just more cabinets, right? Yeah, cool stuff. I love the props in this art book. Look at that. Oh, cool. These are some, like, weird instruments, right? And then we have, like, a little recording. Like, we have a mic, right? I guess this is, uh, this is for, like, you know, for when they're singing or maybe, yeah. Ah, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get some water here one-handed. But, yeah. Ooh, look at that. This is a ping-pong machine, right? Probably. And uh, maybe a gaming machine, right? I guess this is the recreational area. Just gym stuff, you know, nothing. See, that's the thing, right? And a basketball hoop, right? Like, these are things that we would have in regular life, right? These weights, right? They're just weights. They're not that complicated. Maybe the rack is, like, futuristic, right? But the weights themselves, it's like, like, like why would you use something more than just weights, right? Why would you make crazy future weights? No, you just, it's just a fucking piece of metal you know adding realist add, adding stuff from like you know today that like you know like stuff that doesn't need to advance right like the like the basketball hoop you know right like this that's universal right this future right there you go done recognizable 
not recognizable, right? Recognizable, not recognizable, okay? But because of together, it all becomes recognizable. And then when you combine those things, it becomes believable, right? Look at that. Look at that shit, man. The environments in this game, dude. I love... Okay, whoever did the screenshots for this, great fucking job, man. Great fucking job. It reminds me of, um, of, uh, what do you call it? Like, the, the World of series by, uh, something Nightmare Vor Vortex, I think. Shout out to him, you know, check out his videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. I'm probably getting his name wrong. But, uh, yeah, check out his videos, man. Just type in, like, the world of, like, uh, Near Automata, Persona 5. I think he did recently a, uh, uh, Dragon Quest, right? Not Dragon Quest, something else. Uh, Xenoblade, yeah. Look up the world of Xenoblade, right? You'll find his videos. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that shit. I love, I, dude, I love floating people, you know? That's an aesthetic that just works for me, man. People who float, I don't know, something about it, you know? Kojima likes it too, you, you know, Death Stranding. People floating. Control, people floating, you know? Control the game, yeah. I wish I made an art book. I would I would totally buy it. See, this is the first time, right, where I'm seeing stuff like photo bashing, right? Like right here. Here, let me uh right. You can kinda see it, right? Notice the, 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 the different resolutions, right? Right here, another another case. Right. But uh it's it's a little bit better, right? It's it's a little bit more believable. Like most of it I can't see anyway, right? Another in game, right? It just just shows you how beautiful the environments are, right? They did a fantastic job, right? I think this is a this is actual concept. Yeah. See when when things start blending like this, that's that's how you know, because like that's how you know that the world itself looks great. Because you're like this might as the, the world itself might as well just be an art book, you know? Look at that, and they have the signage. Tell you, man, signage adds that believability, man. Oh yeah. Here we go. We have like the um the pod where like the the teleport. I think the teleportation pod, right? Where they have like the mimic inside, right? Cool stuff, man. Yeah, love it. Here we go. Cool fucking stuff right here, boys. More props. I think this is a probe, right? Wow. Look at that. Size reference, right? I love how they like they try to do like the space thing where they have like the like the blueprint and shit, you know? Look at that. Fucking cool. Here we go, dude. I think this is my favorite prop in this art book. The gyroscope. Look at that. Look how fucking cool that thing is, man. That's all painted. No photo mishmash bullshit, right? Look at that. You can see, you know it's painted because the wire is just like one, one flat, you know, stroke. Great stuff. This is the, uh, like, the laser magnifier, right? Whatever that does. Some kind of sound, like, audio thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is, like, a microscope. Like, a super electric microscope. Look at that, Look at that chair. Look at fucking how cool that chair is. You know? It's like, it's like I don't even know how this thing would work, but it's like, you, you have, like, the... Psh, 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 and you're like, oh, it, it, it probably works, you know? Right? Believability, man. 
Here we have like a the, those like measure things, you know, and then a, a pressure uh, thing. I don't know why they have like a sharpness to it. Like I feel like that would be a bad uh, pressure thing. Pressure clamp. I don't know. Look at that. Honestly, right? Like I love the environments, but this this prop section is my favorite part of this art book. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at those like look at all these like I said, dude, I love bips and bops, man. Bips, bops. Woo! Bips and bobs. Always good. There we go. Now we have the Talos One lobby, right? the hub of the game right I think this is Morgan Yu's uh, office man. whoever did these shots man good job really showcases the world man we got life support right oh yeah this is cool, man. This is fucking cool. Like I said, I love how you can't, like, you can't tell what's a drawing and what's an in-game shot because there it's just all done so well. Look at that. You could always tell this is a drawing, but you know, fuck. Wow. But see, look, 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 look. See, this is a binding, like. You know, I, I wish they didn't split the image, but since they had to, it's okay because like this, the the binding is good. You know, because you don't like you you could easily just like go like this, and it's like oh okay, it's it's lining up right. It doesn't do the weird fucking cut off, right? Oh yeah, this is where the I think this is where the eels are, where they eat where they literally eat your shit. Yep. Speaking of the eels, look at that eel design. So cool. I like the, the, the three mouth flap, like, you know. Oh, is that what it looks like? I don't see its eyes. I think it just has feelers. I think they're blind. So cool. And they even did, like, the bone structure, right? Cool stuff, man. Yep, we have the, um, we have the eel uh, containers, right? And we have, like, little different color options, right? Cool stuff, man. Oh, yeah. More environment paintings, right? Fantastic. Fantastic, man. And I love, like, like they, they, they all do, like, a little bit different style, right? But pff, it all works, man. It all works because it's all fucking good-ass art, man. Because they just painted it all, man. Here we go. We got the plant boxes, right? This is the... Uh, the things where you could... Where, where they have, like, little growing things, right? And then you have the... The image of, like, you know, the thing, right? Like, I like how they put, like, a little, like, uh, they made a painting of, like, a little Windows image, right? Shout out to Windows. Windows 95. Whatever it is. Whatever has, like, the, that, that grass field background. Yeah. So. Here we go. Oh yeah, the lobby, right? I guess that other place wasn't the lobby. The lobby is the main hub. It is the place in which you reach everything, right? Wow. Is this a painting? I'm not sure. I think it is. Because I'm getting, like, like you know, usually I could tell by, like, some, like, weird artifacting, right? Um, like, this cigar, cigar right here. But yeah, fuck, dude. Here we go. I think this is, yeah, this is, like, the early concepts, right? Of how it would look. Just shape-wise. Just, like, pure shape. Wow. Man, this shit's just cool, man. It's just straight up cool. 
And in the rule of cool, it always works. If it's cool, it works. Okay. Doesn't matter how it works, as long as it's cool, man. We'll leave ability plus cool equals great shit. Look at that. That's fucking cool, man. I love the, the little, like, this thing. Like, the weird, like, glass, you know, shape thing that hangs in the lobby, right? Here we go. Levitation system. Hmm. Yeah, this is the uh, elevator. I love that there's, like, little couches in the elevator. Oh, wait, wait, is this a tram? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, this might be a tram because they have, like, the little hanging things. All right. Yeah, but look, this is some high-class traveling, man. Right. Oh. Wow. I guess I'm just a big fan of, like, corporate hotel aesthetic, you know? Right, but it's just wow, you know? Look at that. Little statue thing. I can tell you, man, these little things add to the world, man. The team did a fantastic job, and I hate how this game, people were just like, me, 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 about the game, you know? Right? And it's like, fuck you guys, man. Great game. It's too hard. Oh, the systems are confusing. It's like, come on, man. You just didn't know what type of game it was, man. It's the... You got a quick save every fucking minute kind of game. You know? Every every moment is like, like tense as fuck. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Like I said, I love this, like, you know, like this brown paneling, right? Maybe, I, I think it's wood, yeah, this wood paneling against the metal. Just really looks great, always looks great. We have the computers, like the uh, server room or something, right? Um, I think this is like for scans. I don't know. Here, let me up. Uh... Do a little bit of this action. Yeah, for these bigger ones, I gotta stand up because my camera is, uh, my uh, good, my good lens is very uh, zoomed in. Neuromod division. This is where uh, this is where you first break out, right? Come on. There you go. Yep. Wow. Yeah, this is where, uh, oh, this is, oh, it's the skill scanner. This is cool. This is where, like, they, like, if they get, like, a, like, a high-level boxer, in this case, or, or, like, a scientist or some shit, this is where they, they scan, like, their, their actual, their literal skill, you know? Okay, a close position for intellectual skill. Open, wide position for physical skill. Fucking cool. Fucking cool. Look at that. More vehicle designs. This this reminds me of... Uh, of... Uh, Doctor Strange for some reason. Like, just the color, color palette. Oh, we have the fake helicopter. Right? Yeah. I love the use of, like, illusions in this game. Using screens as illusions, right? Because, like... Like, you know, one day we're going to do that, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just these little things, man. Look at that fridge. That looks like a modern fridge, right? Because, like, it's... <laughs> what more do you need to do to a fridge, right? And then you have, like, little fridge magnets, right? There you go. We got, um, yeah, these are like the little, like the, um, 
advertisement things, you know what I mean? Like, that you, that you see in malls, right? That have, like, a scrollable thing, right? And this is, like, very early sketches of, uh, the city, right? The, uh, future city that you're supposed to be in, but you're actually not, right? Yeah. Like, Neo San Francisco, right? Not actually there. It's just a, it's just an illusion. Oh, yeah. I mean, the city might actually look like that, right? Not in real life. The real life city looks like shit, dude. Literally. Shit. It's poop everywhere. Well, that's a topic for another time. We got the power plant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this one's these the, these are some of these are paintings. Like if, if anything, yeah, yeah. This one's not a painting. The, this is a painting, definitely. When they insert a figure, that's almost definitely always a painting, right? Because you need to have the scale. Look at that. Wow, this thing's fucking cool. Here we have a. Uh, I think this is like the communications hub or, or something. Yeah, the elevator. We got the uh, maintenance room or some shit. Come on. Yep, blood splatter. Yeah, we have the security offices. Right, where uh, there's always goodies inside the security office, right? And then where you could find people, like you you could find the like the the people terminal, you know? Like, oh, where's this person? Psychotronics. Here we go. This is where they fuck with the the mind shit, right? With the typhon, right? Fucking cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Wow. See, instead of just, instead of photo bashing man you just gotta fucking put a bunch of like you know like crazy like brush strokes to make it seem more complicated than it actually is right look at that you got a floating person you know how i feel about floating people always good right more psychotronics you know more floating people right oh, he's on the ground whatever you know great art but he's on the ground <laughs> Look at that. Wow. More props, right? Um, I think these are... These are 3D renderings. Uh, possibly painted over, but I don't think so. Yeah, these are probably just um, 3D models that were uh, given texture and, like, you know, uh, given a multitude of textures and stuff and colors, right? Uh, we have... Another painting, great stuff. Yeah, this is where this is where I think this is where it all like went to hell, right? Yeah, this is where all the most typhon are. Ooh, 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 ooh. The the weird skull thing, right in the game. Wow, I don't even know what the fuck this thing is, but it is cool, man. Wow. Yeah, this is, I guess it's for calibration of the Neuromod, right? Here we go. Here we go. We got this fucking cool, like, Neuromod spine thing, right? Like, these these are probably, like, early models for the Neuromod, right? Wow. Look at that. Let me, um... Yeah, for you, uh, for you screen cappers out there. Wow. Yeah. Cool ass shit, man. Here we go. Yeah, we have a pod, right? We have some uh, Russian propaganda, right? Yep, whatever this is. Yeah, whatever that is. It's cool. Yeah, these are just different iterations, right? I thought it was like a little 
like animation or something, right? So like showing the movement, but it's just a, it's just iterations. Yeah, cool stuff right here. Yep. Oh yeah. Fucking cool. Ooh. And usually, usually, you you know how I I punk on in-game screenshots, right? But this time they did it right. They cared, right? So it, it just and it's just if anything, it's just highlighting how beautiful the actual game is, right? We have the Transtar uh, shuttle, right? We have the shuttle interior, right? That's all painted, beautiful. Painted. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this pod, look at this pod, look at this pod. It's so cool, this is the escape pod, right? Look at this cool design, man. I love like the the square and then like these little like like dented you know rectangles. Fucking cool. I wonder if he thinks this game is pretty cool. I do. Yes, I do. Oh yeah. We got the uh, microscope. Like, see, it's recognizable, but it's got all these little extra bips and bops that make it look more futuristic, right? I think this is a, a lathe, right? Yeah. And you just take something out and you, like, just spin it and you can shape it, right? Whatever this thing is. It's like a boiler or some shit. I don't know. Centrifuge. Oh yeah, we got some bleach. Delicious. You know. Yeah, look at all these cool bottle designs, man. Like look look how they like they focused on like a kind of like angular shapes, right? But like cool angular shapes. Wow, cool. Cool 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 cool. 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 Wow, pretty pretty goddamn cool right here. Oh yeah. And we got a spaceship model, right? And showing like the how it like you know, out. Talos exterior. This is where where you're going into space right now. Okay. This is a cool painting right here. Wow. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't checked out this game, do it just just for the world, man. You know? Set it on easy, man. You know? It's a hard game. But it's worth it, man. Cause look at the look at this shit, man. Look at the hold up. Sorry, I'm gonna focus that. You know, look at that. Fucking cool. They really knew how to draw technically, right? Yeah, technical drawings, man. You know, it's a it's a skill that's very important to design believable props, right? Believable, like buildings and shit. Look at that. Wow. It's like a giant, it's like a giant fucking Trump, <laughs> Trump hotel, dude. That's a space station. Look at that. Come on, can, tell me you can't imagine a big fucking Trump logo on this. It already has like a T logo, Le no, T logo, right? For, uh, for the Talos one. Tell me his, his taste isn't like just gilded in gold, right? Like this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So cool. So cool. Let me, um, let me do a... Yeah. Ooh! Come on, focus. Ooh! 
Ooh. I love this space station design, man. Here we go. Hardware Labs, right? Come on. Why won't you focus? There you go. Oh, JoJo's at my feet. Meow. 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 There he is. Ooh, JoJo. Ooh, JoJo. What are you doing at my feet, huh? I can feel your tail. Which, 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 you? Which, 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 you? Look at that. Look at that guy. Which, 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 you? Come on. <laughs> what a cutie. What a cutie. All right. Back to it. <clears throat> Who man, look at this stuff. So cool. So fucking cool, man. Here we go. Another uh, one of those illustrations, right? That are done for the signage, right? Equipment. We, that wasn't even the props, boy. Now we're getting to the props, the equipment. Okay. Look at that. We have a uh, different designs for a uh, for a Morgan use a uh, helmet, right? I think it's showing how it like. It like unfolds, like comes out, you know, and then up, right? And that's like that's what's happening underneath, right? But outside, they have like on, you know, you know, cool, 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 cool stuff, man. I love the helmet design. Look at that. We have the um, the scanner, right? Wow. The psychoscope. So cool. You use this in this game a lot too. We have the suit design, right? Wow. Oh the uh the little uh jetpack thing. Alright, the little thrusters, right? I like how they have like the like it's not on your feet, but it's like on your on your knees, right? So you could just change exactly where you're trying to go, right? Oh yeah. I think this is a realistic rendering of the the neural mods, right? This is just a this is like a three D rendering. Oh, we have the recycle machine, right? Real cool stuff. Yep, and we have the uh, the 3D printer, right? That makes our 3D printers look like bitch, right? Elon Musk, get on this, okay? Get on this shit, okay? A fucking big dick fucking replicator 3D printer, okay? Right? That's, that's what's going to push us to that next level, man. Yep. We have fruits, we have, oh yeah, yeah, we have like little bips and bops, like the, the junks, right, that you just put into the recycle, right? Oh, we have the recycler, recycle grenade, right? Wow, look at that. I love the prop designer who did this, who, who was a, the prop designer in this game, right? Look at that, look at that button. Oh, so fucking cool. Oh, man, that's so cool. Oh, I wish they used this one. I wish they used this design too. Oh, wow, this is so cool. I love this button right here. Like, I'm like, click, click right? I want to click that button, dude. Right, we have the uh, the zapper, right? Uh, these are just the 3D models, right? Um, that are done in the, for the final game, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Weapons locker. We have the little the little uh, tranquilizer. Not the... Uh, the uh, the shotgun, okay. The uh, taser, there you go. Yep, three the 3D model of it. 
we have the some probably early shotgun concepts and then boom we have the final shotgun the shotgun in this game Moto bene, okay? Delicious. I love the delicious design. Look at this delicious design. Look at this. This is a plate. Make us so art deco. Look at the back of this. It's so beautiful. What is this for? I don't know. I don't know what it's for. But it's the booty. Look at that. It's a beauty. Look at that. Look at the interface. Oh, so it's a beauty right there. Ugh. Oh, we have the glue gun. They're, uh, they're answer to the uh, gravity gun, right? Not really, but, uh, you know. It's uh, it's the glue gun, right? They're, they're like, whoa, like, look at this, you know, thing. Like, it create, create, uh, you know, not only can stun enemies, but it could also create pathways. Uh, 3D models of the thing, right? I don't know, okay, like, maybe it's to show the silhouette, Right? But, um, I'm surprised they didn't use a different, like, uh, texture in the render, right? Uh, just to, you know, like, make it more, like, visible, right? Like, usually they have, like, the default gray, uh, in ZBrush. Maybe they're not using ZBrush. They're probably using Blender or something, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, some of the gun designs, right? Another, yeah, this is the, the grenade, right? The, um... Uh, the the grenade that like disrupts the 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 typhon with a sound wave. Here we go. Characters, right? We have the uh, the U family, right? We got Alex, we got Morgan, we got the parents, right? Yeah. I love how look. I love how severe they look, right? Like, look at this guy. He's so severe, man. She is severe. He is severe. And this guy, that's you. And you're also severe. Look at that. Some probably early concept sketches, right? Early paintings, right? Boom. Final. Or, uh, these are the ones that, like, they're like, oh, we like this. We're gonna push it further. Right? Wow. These are the 3D renders. See, yeah, yeah, see, this this is what I was talking about when they when I was saying, like, oh, they should just use the gray, right? Because then the gray allows for shading and stuff to, to be visible. And it shows that it, like, shows it obviously it's a 3D model, right? Alex Yu, right? Kind of the main antagonist, but not really, you know? A, a figure that you're like, oh, I don't know about this guy. Kind of like Fontaine from uh, Bioshock, right? Except... Uh, Alex Yu is actually like, you know, kind of good, right? You have your girlfriend. We have the, uh, the, the, uh, security chief. I think this is the, the cook that was like a serial killer. Yeah, these are just a part of the different cast, I think. Or or unused, I don't know. I can't remember. More suit designs. Look at that. So cool. Wow. Look at that. This is sci-fi done right, guys. Oh, this is like the captain that's like I ain't gonna pilot your ship unless this and that, right? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> That's me, this video. Wow and cool. Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa. I think these are like very. No, no, no. This, this, these, these are poultry guys, right? This I don't even know what the fuck this is. This is cool though. I don't, what is that? Oh, oh oh okay. These okay, so so the like the coral, like the like the ethereal coral that's made by the Typhon. I guess these are like early concepts of like what it could look like with different like things, right? 
And then they just they finally went with the, like the the more ethereal like neon light kind of coral. Yep. Oh, here we go the technopath. Fuck this guy, dude. He's an ass. I like I like how he looks weird and he's also an ass. You know. Like he's just a big fucking, like just like you know. But he's a fuck like in game he's a huge pain in the ass. Oh yeah, we have like the, the guys that are like, really fucking aggressive. That also run away. We have the mimics that, that hide. Yeah, the regular you know, standard typhon, the phantoms that are they're a bitch. It's more than one. It's a bitch. Yeah, we like I think there's are concepts of like an, like a giant fucking typhon dude. Look at that thing. That thing's fucking scary, man. Yeah, it's like attacking the station. I think that I don't know if that happens in the game. I can't remember. Oh yeah, we have the um, the little uh, little operator guys, the little uh, drones, right? Early early designs. This is cool. I really like this. I really like this. Wow. Yeah, I prefer the new ones just because it fits with the world more. But like, this is a cool design. Like, you know, they should they should invest in that somehow. Oh yeah. Yep, I think these are like like uh, promotional drawings for uh, for these things, like in the world, not not in real life, but like yeah, showing like oh the, the, here are the bots, you know, go oh, come get them. Yeah, we have um some storyboards, right? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, this is probably like early on in the game when they're like trying to kind of just show like the world and like like the kind of environment is right you, you, he gets shot into space and then his helmet um helps him out and goes into a thing and then boom he sees severed head right production here we go look at that all these logos man all these fonts Helps build a universe that's real, that's believable, right? Look at these. This is just cool. It's like a comic almost. Tutorial cards. That's what they were. Here we go. We have a storyboard. So let's uh, let's uh, let's do a little bit of dupe, dupe. 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 Right. Oh, shit. Huh? What's that? <gasps> ah! It's a mimic. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh shit, he's right there! Oh! He's on me! He's got me! No! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! He didn't make it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, and then boop! Into a shoe. Here we go. I think this is Morgan, so he's probably not gonna die. Yep, he's got the shotgun. He's like, huh. Whoa, boom, explosion. I think it's a... The Technomancer or whatever. It's like, oh shit, dude. Fuck this. I'm out. Look at that. Look at that dynamic... Ooh, that action. Boom, click, 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 click. Ah, shit. I'm out of ammo. Fuck you. I, I don't know if you threw the gun or if you, or, if you, or the, the Technomancer took the gun because that's, that's an ability you could have, right? Oh shit, mimics. Oh fuck, here they come, dude. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. What do I got? What do I got? I got my wrenches, boy. I got dual wielding wrenches, boy. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. 
Oh, boom. You think I give a fuck? Oh, fuck you guys. This is my last step. Oh. Damn, dude. Why didn't this happen in the game? Oh. Scan him. Scan him. Scan him. Scan him. Oh. Oh. I'm out. Damn. He made it, guys. Unlike the other guy. That was fucking cool. Yep. Here we go. I guess this is the, like, how to, you know, like, neuromods, like, the process that it takes to make them, right? Mimic math. Wow. Wow, this is the this is the money you could make. 480 million profit possibility with this. No wonder they uh, they went with it. Sorry guys. Oh my god. Yep. This is the um the menu. Cool stuff. Wow. Yep, this is just like a HUD design, right? This is pretty cool. This this uh, I could I I would have I would have liked this too. Uh, this is like the the one that they went with, but like, I would have liked that. That would have been cool. Cause it goes with the like the helmet design, right? I don't know what the fuck this thing is, but it's cool. The VFX, right? This art book has it so much, man. Look at that. This is the, uh... I don't know what that is. I think that's like, like the glue thing? Maybe snow? I don't know. Explosion. I don't know what that is, but whatever. It's cool. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Yeah, this is the hack. Uh, telepathy. Um, oh, yeah, this is like the, the 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 explosion thing that you can send from a distance. And then, yeah, this is your this is the mimic ability that you could take. And you're like, oh, I'm a cup now, right? Yeah. More like explosive things, more explosions and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Um Hack or Neuromod or Steel? I don't know what the fuck. More hacking. Yeah, controlling the Typhon. Uh levit like probably some kind of levitation ability. Alright. Here we go. And on uh, Mr. JFK himself. Yep, these are. Oh, and here we go. We have the uh, the staff that made this game. Good fucking job, guys. Good fucking job. That's all I gotta say. Good job. You did a good. You did a wonderful job on this game. I I feel like this game was so underrated. You know. Yep. There you go. Here. Here are the artists, if you, uh, here, no, no. here are the artists, if you're, uh, ever, ever wondering. Oh, the powerhouse animation did, did something, too. That's cool. Let's see, do I know anybody here? No. No, I don't know anybody. Yep, there it is. And then you got the Talos 1 symbol. The Transtar Creative Archives, man. Wow, 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 wow. Let's see. So this book. Come on. Uh retails for 40 bucks, right? You could probably get it cheaper now, right? So whew, this is a long video. This is an hour, right? But this book is dense. This book's got a lot, you know, a lot of value, a lot of bang for your buck, right? Um, I don't know what the price is right now. I'll check it. I'll link it down below, right? You know, but um, I really recommend it, guys. Get this book. Get this book. Get this book. Okay, right? Can't repeat it enough. It's so fucking cool. Uh, Prey, fantastic game. Get that game too. It's probably cheap now, right? The DLC, great. Like Arcane Studios, great. Good fucking job. Just, I love the world of Prey, right? I want like the like real life to be designed this way. 
right? Okay, anyway, um, uh, leave a comment down below, leave a like, okay? Give me that subscribe, right? All that bullshit, right? And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot, guys.